Yo, yo. Hey, 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 hey there. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey Internet. Hello. Good morning, Inter. Yeah. Well, Inter well. Yeah, and welcome to Next Gen in the Morning. We're getting that down. I'm pretty good at that. Mm-hmm. Pretty great at that. Getting there. All getting right. there. Lots to talk about today. Lots to talk about today. I mean, it's a great morning as usual. Yeah. Mornings. Um, Morning. It was supposed to rain today, uh, yeah. but it's yeah. Mississippi, so it's great outside. Uh, Got my grass for now. Yeah. Hey, we are going to jump right into it because I think we have a lot of good stories yeah. for today. With the word, word of, the of the day. The word of the day is sanitize. So, um, in today's world currently, I think we are all washing our hands a lot. You probably sanitize something, probably your phone, something like that, maybe your hands, hopefully, car doors, lots of things. Yes, my wife sanitized my car door handles and my steering wheel. And they were, a lot of dirt came off. Yeah. I think about, like, it's not just Germex, right? We're, we're talking about just being clean. Things like that. Mm. Thinking about, like, after all this, what are some things that might change probably for the better? Uh, and I, hopefully, just people's cleanliness. Yes. Does it change? I mean, less flu, less all of that. Yeah. Cleanliness. Yeah, good time. Do you have any, like, stories about sanitizing? Um, I don't know, I don't know if I have any, like, stories, but, like, I have some things that I do, okay, what do, you do that I believe help me stay healthy. Okay. Um, you can ask my wife. She doesn't believe that this works, but I do. So, whenever I start to feel sick, uh, specifically with like allergy drainage, or just like it's like I've got a cold, I spit as much as possible. I spit as much as possible, and you might be like, "All right, that doesn't change anything." But in my mind, even if it's just a little bit of those bad germs, I'm getting them out. And I will hawk up. Is it hawk or hawk? How would you spell that? I would go H O C K. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's it. Hawk. Hawk. Uh, of a big old. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And that gets all that that's down there out. Mm-hmm. And I ha- you have to do it on the front end. So you're not just spitting normal spit, you're spitting that. That's correct. Yeah. I believe it helps with sanitizing a body. I just use, a lot, like even before this, I liked Germex. I did. It's. I think I just had this thing. Like if I see Germex somewhere, like I'll get it. Like if I'm at Walmart and they got Germex, I'm like, yeah, why not? If I'm at the gas station, they got Germex, I'm like, yeah, why not? Isn't that like yeah. weakening your immune system? I think so. I think it is. But so like, where? But like, I, we had one from a trip that we kept in my office, uh, and like every day, I'd be like, I mean, why not? I'm here. Mm-hmm. So, so are you saying you're ahead of the curve here? I hope so. so. I don't want to jinx myself. But yeah, Germex, that's kind of the thing I did. So people. what are some uh, gross things you can think of that are... Lots of germs. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's one thing. Everybody is like super germ conscious. Sure. I've always been kind of that way. Uh, you may notice mm-hmm. me distance myself from certain things. <laughs> Uh, gas pumps are pretty <laughs> disgusting. I know that's a random thing, but because everybody's touching it, gas pumps are gross, yeah. and they're squeezing it. The sweaty, well, nasty. Just, I mean, is. just look around next time you're getting gas at the, at the different people. Like people are working yeah, all day. Spitting. Yeah, like they're just people got, like me are just hawking up. Yeah, you've got everywhere. people that are just like 
got nice old ladies getting gas. We got guys who literally like work in the blistering sun all day that are just covered in sweat and nasty, and they're t- you know you just get everybody. So the average man. Yeah. The real. They gotta MVP. get gas. The real MVP, probably. It's a great job. Anyway, those are gross. I think that's feet wrong. are gross. Like, oh, yeah. do not get your feet close to me or touch me. I don't want to see, I don't want to even get a whiff, a hint of the smell of your sandals, your sweaty <laughs> feet. Get them away from me. That is true. That's great. Uh, okay, I got another one. Like, when I see you wearing chacos during the summer, I don't think, oh, yeah, it's summertime, bro. I think those have got to be growing something. I, I wear chacos in summer. That's funny, but I like I wear chacos when I'm like white water rafting. Yeah, I wear them. Uh, okay. Uh, you gotta tan those. Yeah, gotta get those tan dogs. Ones. Okay. You gotta let the dogs bark. Right, here's sometimes. something that's gross, and you can judge me if you want, but like buffets. <laughs> like, have you ever just looked at a buffet and you're like, "What am I doing here?" Because you got people that are just getting food, and you're going right behind them and touching that same handle. Getting the germs, but you, but it doesn't stop me. I'm like, well, I mean, are I'm, you banking on the fact that hopefully people wash their hands prior to? So like, Mama lunch? Hamels is a great buffet, and before you go in, they have a hand sanitizing dispenser. Mm. And so Does that make you feel better? It does. I'm like, but then, gross, man. So like buffets. Buffets are gross. All right, I w- I want to say something about buffets though. Okay. You know what they call the glass in between the food and you? Yes, I do. <laughs> it is the most disgusting name for something. The glass, like, it's usually at an angle. Yeah, like right above the food. Where you can, you know, get your hand underneath there and you can still see as if you're, like, working on something <laughs> scientific. But it's called a sneeze guard. If that doesn't sound yeah. disgusting, tell me what it is. I mean, that they could have named it anything else. Like food guard would have been better. Or, or just, just like, call it what it is. Or breathing guard. It's yeah. Like, no, we don't want anybody to sneeze on your yams. <laughs> <laughs> we want to make sure that our chicken fried rice isn't chicken sneeze rice. Yeah. Uh, so gross. But we all miss butter. Henry and I were talking about Mama Hamill the other night. Well, we should go to Hamill when all this is over. Let's see what happens. Like, just eat a lot of food. Eat your body. Yes. Yes. Take me home. <laughs> you got anything else that like graces you out? Grace, um, <sighs> okay, this one, some of you watching might be offended uh, because I am thinking of some students specifically. Uh, but fingernails, not oh. fingernails in general, but underneath your fingernails. Uh, even if you trim them down, which a lot of students don't trim their fingernails down. I hope this serves as a a public announcement that you need to cut your fingernails. Do you cut your nails or off. bite your nails? Cut them. Biting them is just as gross, and hopefully, I can convince you otherwise. You bite your nails? Yeah. Like a five year old? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. Alright. I do. You need to cut your nails because I'm going to get up there. So you, you how, do you do your to- how do you do your toenails? <laughs> we don't need to get in that. I do cut them. Uh, Alright. So, I'm trying to be still here. I'm shaking. Alright. So, you, you obviously see that. God. You obviously see, (laughs) I keep moving the nail, all right? And then there's the pink part and the white part. But underneath there, usually there's like some brown stuff. That's dirt. But any other time, even though it's not brown, it has anything that you touch, scrape. Like, for instance, if I picked up a bag of trash, all right? I may wash my hands, but guess what? I'm not washing in between my fingernails. And how did you grab the trash? I don't grab it like with my nails. But then it's heavy. 
and you gotta get a good grip. Don't, no, don't, don't argue. All right. So, anything that you have, it, it's, it, it finds a home underneath your nail. It's disgusting. And guess what Marshall's doing? He is eating that. I mean, I don't want to get too gross here, but if you use the bathroom, all right, <laughs> it's under there. Any kind of particles that it's under there. And then if you don't believe me, and I want to see you guys Good do boy. this at your home, just like this, as if you're going to taunt a dog. Come here. Come on. Smell. You your fingernails. You will smell the nasty stuff that Marshall eats. Do this. What do you mean? Like if you get a treat, you say, come oh, here. You taunt. I was like, what's that mean? Hey, have you ever noticed that if you ever get my mustard on your fingernails? Your fingernails will smell. Your hands will, oh, it smells fresh. And then it your fingernails like the will smell. that I actually put on it a few minutes ago. So. Okay. Especially after you eat Taco Bell. Oh, that's really got to get in between those fingernails. Right. Hopefully you don't bite yours anymore. I will not. All right. Uh, what is another place maybe where things that you find disgusting. Okay, so I don't even know if these are like a thing anymore, but they are gross because I can give like an example. Like a ball pit? Like in a play place? You know what I'm talking about? Like do they have ball pits anymore? Like growing up, McDonald's and Burger King and all those places had literally just so, a pit of balls. You like just a bat of multicolored yeah, just, playgrounds, yeah. plastic yes, just, balls yeah, that you, you can just in. swim in. Yep. Kind so of? I got two stories. What I mean, as a kid, did you get in there? Yeah, who didn't? Did you you know? just like, yeah, you yeah, like, I got in there, but all the I time. Didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I knew. Like, oh, oh, I didn't. Okay, so two stories. People are sneezing. In you that, think man. this one would have done it for me, but it didn't. I was a little boy. My dad took me to Burger King, and he was inside eating, and I went outside. This when the play place was outside, actually. So it's hot. It's hot. hot. Yeah. Oh! And I got in the play place. Is that and air was, conditions? I, no, and I was playing by myself. And was, this is like 1995. So you can get, you, outside, you can get, you can get strep throat and yeah, a sunburn. Yeah, mm. And so like I'm in there playing and I go down into the, the ball pit and there is a homeless man sound <laughs> asleep in the ball pit. And I think he might was have... Was he covered him. up to black? Yeah, it was, it was covered up with the balls. But I saw him because he was like this, out. And I was like... Yeah, but it was comfy. But he is out cold, man. He's probably on the That's the new bed. fad. And was, I went inside. Was air mattresses. Yeah. Regular beds. Water beds. Water, water beds, beds. And then ball pit. ball pit beds. Well, I told, I went inside told my dad. He didn't believe me. Then I came, I, anyway, <laughs> finally he came out. Do you remember what you said? Daddy, uh, there's a man in the ball yeah, pit. Yeah, probably something like that. So you think, and anyway, they kicked him out. And you know what I did? I got right back in the ball pit. I didn't even go, I was like, yeah, why not get... Okay, the other ball pit story, and this one is when I was done with ball pits. Chuck E. Cheese. Okay. This probably... I've heard this one. It was a birthday party when I was a little boy for somebody. It wasn't mine. Uh, Did you ever have a birthday party? No, 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 I didn't. I just think about the robots. Right? Yeah, the robots. Like that, yeah. Chuck, Chuck E. Cheese. cheese. I haven't I'm been there. I'm going to the car. So I'm going to be honest. I don't remember this, but my mom... So apparently, we were in the ball pit, and while we were all in the ball pit plant, a kid just barfs everywhere in this one spot. Projectile? Yeah, just vomit. And so a worker's like, everybody get out of the ball pit, get out of the ball pit. The ball pit became so, a meat ball yeah, pit. Yeah, disgusting, right? Chunks everywhere. She said a worker came by with like a like a pool net, like a long stick with a little net on the end, and just kind of went to the area. <laughs> like where, it was going to save somebody. Like where the vomit was, and just kind of scooped those balls out, and they were like, all right, y'all get back in. <laughs> if that happened, that means that's happened at another point. Or it happened there a bunch. Yes! And I, yeah. Anyway, my mom said we left. She said, I grabbed your hand and said, we are leaving. There it is. They didn't spray the floor. They didn't do you anything. Know the chunks floated down through the balls. Oh, bro. As if they were a gravel. They on got a pole. What do you think they did with those? Washed them all? Oh, yeah. They put them. They probably put them in the sink where they wash everything else. 
And I probably took them behind the counter where they make the pizza and just put them back. They don't pay them enough to care. With that sprayer, seriously, you know they did. Anyway, ball pits are disgusting, and I don't think they're a thing anymore. So. Probably yeah. because of that. Yeah. <laughs> That's you gross. Two absurd stories. That's real life. They are both true. Burger King and Chuck E. Cheese. You notice cheese you, play doesn't happen. Well, you know my personality. The only thing I remember about ball pits is... I just despise when kids would knock the balls out of it. So I spent most of my time just throwing the balls back in the pit. So it's like OCD, man. Yeah. Hey, so I hope that you guys are reading John still. Uh, today we were on John 18. Yesterday was John 17. So uh, we're actually kind of catching up, or we're kind of in the same timeline as this, this actual week is Passion Week. So leading up towards Easter, so we're actually in the same time frame, maybe a couple days off, but still in the same general area, so that's really cool. So be following along with us. Be sure you're watching our pastor's videos on that. Super encouraging to watch all that stuff. And so, yeah. look, keep meeting with your life group. And if they're not meeting, you be in charge of getting it together. Yeah, meet with your life group. I know you know how to work Zoom. Yeah, just do it. Zoom. Just do it. Right. Hey, recommendation station. Uh, what do you think? I've thought about this one for a while. I think I want to recommend that you call someone. And I'm not talking about just like FaceTiming somebody. I'm not talking about texting them or emailing them. I'm talking about just call somebody up, dial their number, and uh, just to illustrate what we're talking about and how much joy it can bring you in your life. We're going to do it right now. We're going to call somebody. I think we got to get close. To the yeah, we'll get there. close. I'm going to call them again. I pray that they answer. Who are we calling? Colin Johnson. I should not answer. He's not going to answer. No man. We'll leave him a voice. If your friends you called don't okay. answer, the person you called has leave a voice number, but it's not been set up yet. Man, so sad. Goodbye. His, his voicemail is not set up yet. That's my recommendation. Set up your voicemail. <laughs> Should we call again? Yes. I'm heartbroken. I was going to leave a message. Everybody wanted to talk to Holland. All right, I'm going to... Hello? 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 What's up, Holland? How are you, dude? I've just, I've just been full. Honestly, I've been getting slightly insane, right? Yeah, getting insane. That, I've been getting hey, really good. Uh, before you go any further, I want to let you know that we're calling you from our live Next Gen in the Morning show. Have you watched any of these episodes? Uh, no, no, I haven't. <laughs> That's You're okay. Right. You're most a, of most of our students you're have an adult. it, and you're in college, so it's okay. Uh, <clears throat> we do this thing at the end of every episode. We do a recommendation, and my recommendation for the day was to call somebody, not Facetime them, not text them, but call them. And so we uh, are calling you on the show. Is there anything you want to say uh, to our viewers right now? And try to be just like dictate your words well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would just like to say that Bennon and Marshall is the best duo for literally anything. That's that's all I have to say. About, that's all guys. I have to say. Thanks, Holland. That was very kind. We love you. Yeah, we well, love yeah. you. And just so you know, man, 
You are just the best. You don't need somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, buddy. All right, man. See ya. See you, dude. Bye. All right. Well, that's it for today. Had a good time talking. Remember. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Just do it.